Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Trans Road USA. So in our last video we got to do a lot of things really to, to move us forward uh, toward making our company bigger and better. We purchased a new depot in Bismarck and we fully upgraded that so we can handle a maximum of six trucks and you can see now that leaves us with 26 trucks and trailers and room for four additional ones and I mentioned that one of the things I want to do is at some point I want to get all of the truck and trailer combinations to 10 each and then we'll take it from there as far as do we want to continue getting uh, new uh, licenses for new trailers and all that kind of thing but you can see we're already there with the dry trailers we got 10 already in that spot we've got eight here with the dump trailers and then we have eight as far as the reefer trailers go so we have enough room to accomplish that so that's one of the things I want to get done here in uh, today's video but first I see this annoying little number up here telling me that somebody needs maintenance and that guy is down here looks like he is yes he is headed to Charlotte so we're gonna go ahead and drive him there so it looks like he is at a point where he's gonna make he's gonna finish up his delivery yeah okay actually he's already finished up his delivery so he went straight over to there all right so we're good there and it looks like we got about 5,000 miles for a couple of guys and then quite a bit more beyond that so okay looks like we're fine as far as that goes so let's look at what we need to do to continue expanding the one set of trucks that I really want to expand first on is the dump trailers and the reason I want to do that is because with our reefer trailers even though that would be the natural progression uh, given that we started with the dry then moved up into the reefer trailers right now they're doing a contract that only requires six trucks and only has a certain number of trips that need to be made per week so I'm really in no particular hurry there to get more trucks on there even though more trucks will definitely help us out with return trips and of course anytime you can get contracts done early that just gets you more reputation uh, and long term things just get better doing it that way so let's go ahead and get the time moving let's go back and again I'm going to try to look for some new trucks uh, we do not have any trucks at the moment okay I guess we won't worry about purchasing any trucks from you let's go to Detroit see what he's got for us okay so he does have some things for us now keep in mind we're looking for the dump trailer so we need at least three axles and so we're good to go here let's see what he has all right so he's got a couple of those and then we get into the four axles all right so he's got two of those available and that's perfect for me that's exactly what I'm looking for so that will work out great now as far as where we're going to send these I want to send these to I think Des Moines is actually the closest area to where these these guys are working in their contracts I should have looked at that before but I didn't so we're gonna go with Des Moines that should at least get us in the neighborhood anyway and if it's a little bit farther than I'm thinking then that's no big deal all right so we're gonna confirm the purchase I actually think we've got a couple of drivers already hired because we got four more drivers on staff right now than we actually need uh, so they're just sitting there drinking coffee and doing nothing right now but I think we've got two that have uh, the dump license so I, we're gonna go with that for now and let's go get our trailer all right there we go dump trailer and we're gonna send this to Des Moines confirm that purchase and actually while we're here we're gonna go ahead and purchase another one also send it to Des Moines confirm that move back over to our trucks and pick up this last truck all right there we go I think I got all that right if not I guess we'll be finding out here shortly so obviously we used a little bit of money there and okay large mining order I think this is the one we were looking at earlier with the dump trailers and I was talking about declining this simply because I can't see how many trucks are needed on each of these and there are I believe four it's not gonna let me look at it right now or scroll through it but I think when we last looked at this 
there were four contracts. So chances are we would probably be fine, but I don't really want to incur that penalty cost for no reason as nice as this 1.6 million would be. So I'm going to go ahead and decline this one. Even if that turns out to be a bad decision, um, I would prefer not to have to uh, give up 300 grand just because I forgot some piece of information. Okay, so we've leveled up there. Let's get things back going again. All right, our two trucks that are going to be idle are the ones we're actually waiting to be delivered. I think that's actually them right there. And there they are. So let's go ahead, enter that depot. And okay, here we go. Nico will drive one of these. And yes, Matt is our other driver. So we have Samuel, who does not have any licenses. So he would have to drive either the reefer or the dry. And then we have, I believe that's livestock. And so we don't even have that license. So I'm probably going to be getting rid of these guys here pretty soon, I would imagine. Because Samuel, I don't have much use for unless we go ahead and get into the reefer trailer. So for that reason alone, I might keep him on board. But at this point, we don't really need him. All right, we need to instantly put these guys to work, if at all possible. And it looks like we are in need of doing some maintenance here, picking up another contract. So before we do that, let's see if we can pick up something going from Des Moines uh, to OKC. And let's pick the proper contract. Okay, Des Moines to OKC, 15 trips. Okay, again, the money is not the biggest thing here. I'm trying to keep things moving along and reduce the amount of micromanaging. That's really first and foremost for me. So let's see, what does this one have? Oof. Always like peeking at these recurring contracts just to see if there are any of them that we might want to get into now that we're sort of, we're, we're dipping our toes into these types of contracts and just getting our feet wet, seeing if there's something that might be good for us or if we encounter any bugs or or issues with them anything like that all right so we've got our guys going and now as you can see we've got our convoy headed back and forth des moines to okc everything is good to go there i always like to see the green numbers pop up as my daughter kaylee pointed out uh, with a question when she was recording the video with us what do the red numbers mean and what do the green numbers mean that pop up on the screen? So that was that was good of her, very observant to to notice that. There are a lot of things that I just get used to seeing that sort of blend in with the background after a while. All right, so we're done with the dry trailer, at least one of the contracts. So we've got Indy to Charlotte. So a nice route. So now we need Charlotte back to Indy again if we're going to continue with these routes. And for right now, I'd like to do that because we have 15 more deliveries let's make sure we get the right truck and trailer Ooh, that is definitely not good there we don't want that one all right indy to charlotte well that's nice wait did i i picked i clicked on the wrong city now i know i could have changed the here and from here i could have done that but it's just easier for me to keep it simple there we go that is not good even though we would Ultimately, look like make a little bit of money, maybe, but we're not interested in that. That's no good. Really? Like you don't have anything for us? Now I know we're in a uh, an economic downturn with the dry trailer, so we got to work on work through that. All right, let's see what we got here. Charlotte to Indy right now. Okay, it doesn't make a whole lot of money, but I'm okay with that. It's making some money. It'll keep the bills paid. And these guys, they're going to be traveling this route anyway. There we go. So why not get paid at least a little bit from it, even if it's not a terribly large amount? Okay, we're good there. We're good momentarily here. So we've got our 10 trucks in the dump trailers and the dry trailers. Next up would be the reefer trailers. And you can see here we are about to be done with this particular contract and working on our weekly allotment of trips for this contract. All right, there we go. So this one will be done here momentarily. So we're going to focus in on this one. And I guess here shortly we'll be looking at expanding our fleet 
and picking up the last two trucks for the reefer trailers. All right, so now we got two guys that are that are done on the dump trailers. Let's see what they've got going on. Okay, so it's this contract. Well, actually, both of these contracts will be done here fairly shortly. Uh, let's see what we can pick up. Where are these guys? They are in OKC right now. Well, actually, we got one at each. And the problem is we only have one more available slot on this schedule. And again, I can always go and open up these other schedules. I'm trying to keep from doing that. Uh, at some point, we may be in a situation where we're just going to have to do that. Let's go ahead and look and see what we find. I mean, here's another good trip. 20 trips. 15 trips. Again, the money isn't all that important, but we'll just glance to see what's going on. There's another bad recurring. Yeah, these are not good money-wise at all. Okay. All right, well, we can live through that. Let's go ahead and, well, you can see this one, really what it's worth is the completion bonus. That's pretty much it on this one. So what I do like is that we're slowly getting upgraded in OKC. Now, Des Moines, we're in great shape. Uh, this particular, look at that, 101 out of 45. So, yeah, I'd say we're doing pretty good there uh, with this one particular company. Let's go ahead and pick this one up for now, and then we'll try to keep an eye on this as well. All right, so this guy's in OKC already, and this guy was in Des Moines. Yes, okay, so we're going to let him for now just go into... Uh, our depot while he's there and let's head back over to our reefer trailer because we're about to be done with this contract just waiting for that last delivery to come in and there we go so a nice plus five and let's see if we can pick up something charlotte to des moines and this will be in the reefer trailer all right, so let's take a look here. 1,800, wow, just not good. 8,200, now that's good. That's something that makes you want to pick up that load, but of course we're not in a position where we want to do that right now. But it is always nice that these types of contracts exist. Okay, so we're looking Charlotte to Des Moines. So we didn't find anything so far. Let's see if one of the other customers down here might have something. Uh, so far, no. And this is just not... Oh, love this type of thing, though. Look at that. Look at that. Now, that is awesome. Makes you want to jump out of this contract and jump on this one. Because uh, that is a very nice completion bonus. But no, doesn't look like we're going to find anything right now. Okay, no big deal. We'll let it ride. And we'll check back from time to time and just see if anything has changed. This will give us an opportunity to move back over because yes, schedule two is now going to have some room available as we just finished up. And you can see there's a whole lot of trucks, uh, I believe that are on their way to OKC. Let's turn on the time a little bit. No, actually most of them looks like are headed away from OKC. So they are finishing up they're working on now this contract. Okay, so we got OKC to Des Moines. That means now we need to go Des Moines back to OKC if possible. And hopefully that will be possible. Oh, come on now. Really? That is not what I wanted to see. Okay, we could go, because it's along the way, we could go to Kansas City, but I'm not even seeing anything to Kansas City unless I missed it. No, there's really nothing there. And I don't really want to try to go out of the way, uh, even though I think that's very doable. we got 10 trucks uh, ultimately to put on these contracts, and I don't know, I might decide to get adventurous and do something like perhaps St. Louis, uh, or Lincoln, 
All right, for right now, I'm going to let this be. So that's just not, the contract's not falling our way right now to keep this simple. Let's check back in on number one. We're doing great there. You can see we're coming to the end of this particular contract, and we'll get a nice bonus of 34500 for that one. All right, let's speed things up and get back to it. All right, one of the things I do want to have happen, there you go, you can see 49000 for finishing up that contract. So now we're down to just the one contract. Okay, see to Des Moines. Let's check one more time. I don't think it's been long enough for any new contracts to generate, but let's take a look just in case while we're here. Nope, nothing there. Okay, so we're perfectly fine to keep going that way. And we do have one guy that is idle and we know where he is and we know what kind of trailer that he has. So we're fine as far as that goes, even though it does hurt me a little bit to see that we don't have any uh, return contracts right now. And how about that for timing? We click over to schedule number one and that 50 delivery contract is now done. And that's going to open us up. You can see we got 10 trucks on this contract right now, which means it's going to be done here very shortly. So that opens us up. Let's see what we've got in Indy. And we don't really have to worry a whole lot about really anything for this. All right, we need the dry trailer. And wow, not a good contract at all. Pretty much what you would expect to see from that. Ooh, that is not a good deal. Are we going to find anything that's a good deal is really the question. If it's not a good deal, I am not opposed to having these guys just sort of sit it out and and not operate at all. Let them go back to the depots. And it looks like that may be our best option right now. There we go. Indy to Charlotte. Okay, that may be perfect. Let's see. This is 20. And eh, the money, it may be worth it to go the 20 trip deal simply because it'll keep them busy for a little while. And hopefully the economy will turn around at some point and we can start to get back to it. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and just take that deal. 20 trips, again, doesn't make a whole lot of money, but it keeps the wheels turning, keeps the bills paid. There we go. So now they're ready to go. We'll keep checking back in with these other guys, these other contracts, and just to see if there's anything that we can do. So let's check back in. Charlotte to Des Moines. Uh, eh, these guys are in need of something to do. But first, while we're here, let's check Charlotte to Des Moines. And these are the reefer trailers. Wow, look at that one. That is beautiful. 10-6 per trip. Of course, you don't get the completion bonus. That's the part that's left out of these recurring deals that you have to, to factor in as well. Of course, we're not worried about that with this series. Okay, Charlotte to Des Moines before I get too caught up in other things and too distracted. And no, not really anything there. Again, not to say that we can't do something else along the way. Let's see if there's anything simple. 15 to Charlotte. Okay, 8500 per. I do like that. That is very nicely done. All right, where are our trucks now? We've got a lot of trucks. Where are they? Let's go ahead and take this one. I'm going to take the chance, even though I'm not exactly sure where all the trucks. I see a few of them here and there. There we go. All right, now that'll move us back over to hopefully be able to deal with current issues. Let's see where these guys are. Where is he? Oh, he apparently he is in or around Charlotte. Okay, let's go ahead and take him. Let's see where he's going. Okay, he's going away from Charlotte. All right, that is perfectly fine. All right, where are you going? You are going away. Well, how about that? All right, we'll come back to them. Oops, come back over here. Schedule two. There we go. 
Now, we're getting more, more folks that are headed back to Des Moines because they don't have any work to do. We're finishing up this contract OKC to Des Moines, and then there's nothing for them to pick up in Des Moines. And we have so many trucks that we are running through these contracts very quickly. Uh, I wouldn't mind picking up a recurring deal, but 3300 per just isn't going to do it for me. Not right now. Okay, so we want to go to OKC preferably. Okay, we'll take that one if there's nothing else available. And it looks like that might actually be the case. All right, so we're going to go back and take this one to OKC. And with the number of trucks we have, this one will not take long for us to do. So even if we don't necessarily like the terms of the deal, the financial side of things, it's worth it. just to keep these guys moving. And again, as long as we're making money, that is the main thing. We may not be making quite as much money as we'd like to make, but that's okay. I can live with that. All right, so we know we're about to fulfill this contract. Very shortly, it uh, looks like Schedule 8. We're back moving, and I think that notification is letting us know that we're done with our weekly number of allotted trips here. I believe that's what that is. Oops, let's go and let's see where these guys are. Can we? All right, where are you going? All right, you are headed to Charlotte. So what I'm going to do is, come on, scroll in for me. There we go. So I'm going to have him go in Charlotte while he's there. And let's see our other, other guy where he's headed. He is headed to Indianapolis. And since we haven't upgraded just yet, we're going to have him go to Detroit. And what I was referencing in the upgrade is upgrading our depots to the point where we can actually do maintenance there. We're going to get to that, but not quite yet. All right, so we've got somebody who is idle, and lo and behold, it is our dump trailers, and he is going to be in, yeah, he's in OKC. Let's get over to our dump contracts. All right, so he is in OKC. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick up something OKC to Des Moines. You can see right now we don't need anybody on this contract because it's almost done. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, we could go to Cheyenne. Not bad at all. Also not bad. This is this is pretty good. This is both of these contracts are pretty good. A nice completion bonus here. Otherwise, they're pretty close on the per trip. And whenever that happens, I am generally going to go with the longer number of trips as long as it's fairly close. So right now I'm liking this 20 trip deal. Let's keep these guys busy. Let's see what we've got on the recurring. Eh, nothing there that's really enticing to me. I do like it when I see deals like this though, 7,600 per trip. That is always nice to see. Okay, I like this deal quite a bit. 15 for 180, which I believe is better, yeah. Yeah, it's better than the other 15 tripper we have available. And this time I am going to override what I normally would do, which as I mentioned is to choose the longer number of trips, even though that would work out perfectly fine given the number of trucks we have. We are gonna go against that for now and take this shorter deal and get these guys going in a new direction. We're going to head off to Cheyenne and get away a little bit, looks like from this Des Moines to OKC track. Okay, what do we have going on here? All right, we just finished up a contract, which means we need to go see what's going on in between Indy and Charlotte. So we're just about to start this contract. And so now we need to pick up something Charlotte to Indy, but it look, doesn't look like we have anybody that's there just yet. Let's let at least one guy, you can see the rest of them coming down 
right there, contract fulfilled. Uh, that We already knew about that one. We knew that one was just about to be done. And look at that. Isn't that a beautiful sight with all of these trucks? The huge convoy coming down the interstate, and they're all ours. That is a beautiful thing. So now let's see, as they're a little bit closer, let's see what we've got headed back to Indy. And hopefully it's something nice. That is not nice. Nice completion bonus. But that's about it. Again, these, this is where our economic troubles are. Wow, look at that. Negative 60,000 per trip. Or per week. Negative 10,000 per trip. Ouch. That is not good at all. All right, do we have anything that makes money. Wow, we can go to Charlotte, uh, from Ch or to Chicago rather, and make a little bit of money, but not much. The rest of these are more or less, hey, there we go, Charlotte to Indy. Again, money is terrible, terrible, terrible. Ooh, I do like this one. I like this a lot. Now my question becomes, can we pull it off? That's the the ultimate question can we get over to from charlotte to memphis and then back up to indy it's an eight truck deal so we're cutting it kind of close we do have a couple of extra trucks but we don't have a lot this is only a five truck deal Ooh, that is man that is a good deal if we could do it it's definitely a great deal given where we are 50 trips I'm more inclined, though, to take this one simply because, well, it's simple. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's don't let's don't poke at the bear too much. So Charlotte back to Indy, Indy to Charlotte. There we go. We'll keep it simple. All right, looks like we got some more maintenance. And this guy, where is he at? All right, he should be in Charlotte already. Okay, he did go. All right, so now the other guy is already in. Uh, we've got economic crisis, but we don't have to worry about that. We don't have that particular trailer type. So we are going to let that ride and not worry about it. Okay, we've got another contract fulfilled in Schedule 2 with our dump trailers. Let's head over here and see what we've got. You can see these guys are sort of spread out between Cheyenne and OKC. All right, so OKC to Cheyenne, we're just getting started with. Cheyenne back to OKC, let's see what we've got. Can we make any money? Not with this contract, we can't. And I tell you what, we are looking for, at some point, I have to constantly remind myself that we do have these quest lines. All right, St. Louis and Minneapolis, I need to remind myself what this looks like. There we go. All right, so that is uh, that is a mine, and that's what we need to fulfill. All right, these guys, I need to open them up. How do I do that? Well, that is just not going to be fun at all okay we're gonna to have to come back we're going to, have to work on that a little bit later i was hoping it would be simple we could just throw some trucks over that way and maybe open them up uh, open up a few of these as customers and then start to fulfill some dump contracts from the mine you got to get them opened up as customers and unlocked before we can get there but we'll we'll take a look at that in another video maybe that's what we'll try next time all right, so Cheyenne back to OKC. What do we have? Anything? Mm, no. <laughs> Nothing at all. We can go to... Yeah, that's going to be too far out of the way. As much as I would like to go to Helena and open that up, uh, that is a beautiful contract. 341 grand, all sorts of good things about that. But that is going to be just a little bit too much out of the way. Right now, I'm trying in my mind to think, can I get by with doing that? And I just don't think I can. This is a three-truck contract. 
And of course, we got 10 trucks on it, so we are way, way overbooked on this. Man, I want to try it. I really, really want to try this. This is a four truck deal. Oh, let's just try it. I mean, the worst thing that happened is that we lose the completion bonus, which I don't want to do. But, I mean, we've already looked. I mean, we're, we're drowning in money right now. And if you look at where we are compared to our competitors, I mean, we're number one right now. We're doing great. Let's just go ahead. Let's take a chance and let's do it. Why not? Let's have a little bit of fun with this and see if we can make this thing happen. All right, let's see if these guys, you see two trucks. So they're going to get loaded up. They're going to head up this way. The good thing is we're starting off and we're going to have 10, 10 of these trips done very quickly. So I think we're going to buy ourselves a little bit of time. And there we go. We open up Helena. We definitely do not want any additional contracts in here to try to uh, make this even more complicated and spend even more time. We don't want that. That is definitely not what we want right now. All right, so these guys are going where? Where are they going? They're going all the way around? Okay, I guess I can see that. It's, yeah, I'll just let it ride with it. Nothing I can change about it anyway. But it does seem a little bit odd that they're doing that. Okay, things still going okay. 5,800 per trip. Still, I keep looking for that to change and either go up or down. Hopefully up, if anything. All right, so on contract number eight. Yeah, it looks like this one reset itself for the number of trips per week again. Perfectly fine with me. We'll take it. All right, let's come back over here and see what's going on. Really don't want to lose this 90 grand completion bonus, and I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, look at that. I think we're going to be perfectly fine as we've got these guys. These are our remaining three trucks. They'll head up to Cheyenne. they got plenty of days to get there. And, of course, we're well on our way in Helena as well. Of course, this gives us an opportunity to unlock yet another customer. Always a good thing. More customers means more potential contract options for us to choose from. All right, there we go. Contract fulfilled. That was our second contract in here. So let's go and see if we can find another contract to replace that. So we're looking Charlotte to Des Moines. So what do we have? Let's go to our reefer deals. And once again, our time is cut short. I swear that these these videos are only five minutes long. That's the way it feels whenever we get to playing this. You just get so into what you're doing, looking at these contracts, and then there's maintenance, and there's all these things going on. And before you know it, you realize that 30 minutes have passed, in this case, plus some. All right, so we need Charlotte to Des Moines, if possible, or... Again, we could go Charlotte to, really, Charlotte to Indy if we wanted to. And that would line up pretty good for this particular contract. Okay, that's a pretty nice recurring deal. And unfortunately, we cannot take that one. Charlotte to Pittsburgh. Okay, not the end of the world there either. That would work. It's only 10 trips, though. Uh, we could go to Savannah. Of course, that's that's not going to help us. Wouldn't mind doing it. Now, D.C., now we're talking. 50 trips is what I like about this one. The money isn't outstanding, but I like the 50 trips. That would keep them busy and keep me from having to micromanage for a while. And Okay, I like this one. I like this one. Let's do this. And what it's going to do is it's going to set us up quite nicely because the other thing that I want to make sure that we get to do is pick up these last couple of trucks and trailers that we can get for the reefer loads. That is going to be a really good thing. Not that we have to have it, but it always helps with the timing when you have extra trucks 
And that way you have to worry a little bit less about whether or not you're going to make it on schedule or lose potentially your completion bonus. So I like this idea, but we'll do that in our next video for now. We'll leave it here. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more of our Let's Play of Transport USA.